Grand Theft Auto 4's PC port is regarded by many people as being one of the worst ones out there, but it's been over 15 years since the game's release and nowadays most modern computers don't have a lot of trouble running it. Still, if your potato PC has trouble running GTA 4 properly, then welcome to this video where we're gonna make this notorious PC port actually run. For the video, I'm gonna use my old laptop which has the dual core Intel Celeron N2840 with its Intel HD graphics bay trail, 4GB of single channel RAM, a hard drive as the boot drive and an external one on which the game is installed. Also I'm using a custom bloated version of Windows 10. I have the complete edition version of the game and I'm using the lowest settings that the game would allow us in the graphics menu and the resolution of 800 by 600 so we came across our first problem, when the MSI afterburner overlay isn't enabled, it's actually not all that bad, you know, look at that, that it's actually fairly smooth, but when I enable it, and this happens, Bruh. my frame rate absolutely tanks down. I don't know why is this happening, but for this reason, I'm gonna use fraps to monitor the FPS instead. Anyway, the game runs okay-ish, I mean it could be much worse for sure, especially given the hardware that we're talking about, but the FPS drop quite often to 15 or even below that, so let's get to work. Before we can do any modding, we need to downgrade the game to a lower version. Luckily, there's a very convenient tool that allows us to do just that, I will share the download link for it in the video description. Just extract the files from the archive with winrar or 7 zip to a folder, then open the tool from the 4downgrader.exe file and let's get started. Click next, then select your GTA 4 directory or executable file and click next. After that, if you get this MD5 warning, don't worry, just click next and now we've got to choose which version to downgrade the game to. Now, contrary to the tool's recommendation, I do not, I repeat, I do not recommend downgrading to version 1.0.8.0 because it's not fully compatible with what we're gonna do later on. So instead, either go for 1.0.7.0 or 1.0.4.0. Multiplayer, I don't care about it, the radio, that's up to you, in terms of which mods should you install, make sure the X lifeless and Zolika patch options are chosen, in other words, just leave this menu as it is, and click next. You can make a backup before proceeding with the downgrade itself, I've already made one, so let's go! The downgrading process will take a while, so in the meantime, make yourself a coffee or take a shower. After the process is complete, you get the option to also downgrade your save file and after that you can create a command line which is strongly recommended and we're pretty much done with the downgrade. However, there is one very important thing to note. After the downgrade, make sure to launch the game not from Steam if you have the Steam version or GTA4.exe or launcher.exe or the launch GTA4.exe file but always from the play gta4.exe file, otherwise the game won't open or you risk reverting the downgrade entirely. Another thing that I did before doing anything else was right clicking the gta4.exe file, then going to properties and from the compatibility tab I set the compatibility mode to Windows XP Service Pack 3 which actually fixed the MSI afterburner slash river tuner overlay. Unbelievable! But, the big boat. Should I downgrade to 1.0.7.0 or 1.0.4.0? Well, to answer this question, I run the built-in benchmark mode with the game downgraded to both versions separately and in 1.0.4.0 I got 1 FPS more than in 1.0.7.0. So 1.0.4.0 is the one that runs better. But, there is a catch. If you downgrade to 1.0.4.0, you won't be able to play the episodes from Liberty City, so if you really care about the episodes and you don't mind playing with 1 to 3 FPS less, then you should probably downgrade to 1.0.7.0. Because 1.0.4.0 runs slightly better, I'm gonna use it for the rest of the video. And now let's get to the fun part. Now, there are two really good low-end mods out there. 
The first one being GTA 4 in low end pieces which slightly reduces the draw distance and tricks some other effects and the much more epic one GTA 4 for extreme low pieces which as the name suggests takes it to a whole new level. Now while the GTA 4 in low end pieces mod and the 4 extreme low pieces version 3.0 in no car deformation from the epic mod work absolutely fine, the props removal one gave me quite a bit of trouble. In fact, I was only able to remove the vegetation without crashing during loading or the internet cafe bowling, Let's go bowling. and other stuff being broken. So, what I ended up doing was combining the two mods into one, with the game breaking stuff being removed and Creative Studio original authors of course. You can download my combination of the two mods from the link in the video description. I divided it into three presets and I included some command lines, each of which set the game at a different resolution, so choose carefully. Before we proceed any further, I highly recommend to back up the common and PC folders, including the ones in your The Lost and Damned and the Ballad of Gay Tony directories if you've downgraded to 1.0.7.0, because things are about to get very messy here. To use the mod, just choose one of its three presets and extract the folders, including the episodes ones if you downgraded to 1.0.7.0, replace the original files and just wait a little bit. Then return to the mod and go to the command lines folder where you can choose what resolution you want to play the game at. Then simply extract the chosen command line from the mod and replace the old one. Now, I chose the potato low preset which is the lowest one and the resolution of 320 by 200 so let's see those real life like graphics. Well, that is a nice 16K resolution for sure. Hey, at least we're getting quite decent FPS. Yeah, the text is like almost completely unreadable. Holy moly. Let's go outside and... Uh, whoa. Damn. Wow. That is certainly a very nice draw distance. And so it's quite dark. Okay, that's better. I don't know why would you want to play with such a low draw distance unless you are extremely desperate. Look at the beach by the way. Nico Bellic is on the moon. Look at that. Also 60 FPS in GTA 4 on Intel Celeron. That's absolutely insane. Okay, unless your PC is some sort of a super slow potato or toaster, you probably shouldn't play with this draw distance and resolution. So, we're gonna restore our files. And instead, we're going to try out the super low preset which is actually higher than the potato one and a resolution that isn't lower than the Nintendo 64 and PS1 one, like for example 512 by 384 Here's a side by side comparison between the stock low settings and the free presets of the mod. Also, before I get to 6 trillion comments reminding me about it, you can also use DX Vulcan, which changes the API of the game from the default DirectX 9.1 to Vulcan, which many people claim is much faster. Yes, I will share the download link in the video description. To use it, simply extract these two files to a game directory and run the game. Unfortunately, the Intel Celeron N2840 integrated graphics don't have support for Vulkan, so we can't test it on this hardware. Instead, I made the comparison between DX9 and Vulkan on my gaming laptop using the highest settings possible, and here's the result. Anyway, let's see the gameplay with the super low preset and the slightly higher resolution on the low end PC without Vulcan of course. Okay, so now we are at the super low preset and while the FPS aren't as high as before, at least you can play properly now. And yeah, the resolution is, yeah it's pretty low but at least it's much better than 320 by 200 it's 512 by 384 right now. Which, yeah, it's still a pixelated resolution and the text looks 
quite pixelated as you can see, but hey, at least you can sort of read the text. Also, the pedestrians look very interesting and blocky. Kinda like uh, a Nintendo 64 or a PS1 game. Now, I know these cars look absolutely amazing, but look what happens when you drive them. Pop! And now we've got the normal high poly model. Let's go to the beach and whoa! That is epilepsy inducing! Oh, I better stop looking at the water. So yeah, if you want to go to the beach with the super low preset or the extremely low one, well, avoid going to the water. No swimming, okay? The FPS are somewhere around the 20s. There's a 24 right now. It's, it's not too bad for such hardware and considering what kind of a port GTA 4 is. By the way, those trees look very interesting also. Whoa! So they are ghost trees! Like, the trees exist, but at the same time, they don't! Yeah, that's some nice GTA 4 drifting. Ooh, now we're going fast, but uh, the FPS are still pretty good, you know. They're pretty good. Oh, no, don't swear, Nico. It's okay. No need to say these bad words. You've got it, brother. What's this? I know there's only gonna be one of you coming. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. We have to teach a bad man his lesson and team. Shit, Nico, get this. Oh crap! Get wrecked! You too, boy! And you too! Damn, my shooting is perfect! Wee! He became victim of the physics. Well, I should deal with these guys rather quickly. Let's see some explosions, by the way. So... Yep, the effect is gone of the explosion itself, but hey, the fire effects haven't been removed. You thought you could arrest me, huh? Well, now to the police here, it's getting quite laggy. And I'm dead. And let's see how much we get when we look down. 54 FPS, amazing stuff guys. So yeah, apparently, despite the fact that GTA 4 is such a bad PC port, it turns out you can play it absolutely fine on a potato PC, provided you do some sacrifices, of course. That's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, hopefully you can actually play GTA 4 after watching it, if that's the case, leave a like and subscribe to my channel, as we are slowly but surely getting to 1000 subscribers. You can suggest a game to make a video on in the comment section down below, and I wish you all a very nice day.